Yo, what to do, GG Nation, GG Legion, it's your fella again, Strauss Man the GG, welcome to another episode of Strauss Man Reacts, yo, Game Informer has the exclusive scoop of Spider-Man Miles Morales, you guys know how much of a big fan I am, if, you, if you've been around the channel, if you know me personally, Spider-Man and Wolverine are my two favorite characters of all time, super excited to see this Miles Morales. I was very lucky to be one of the few that actually do have a PS5 pre-ordered, so we'll do an unboxing. Obviously, we're getting Miles Morales. I'm going to get that Ultimate Edition for that uh, Spider-Man PS4 remaster as well. But Game Informer has the coverage this month. They're going to be dropping details regularly. There's been a lot of details that came out. We're going to react to two videos because this is only like 48 seconds, and the other one's like a minute. So slight spoilers if you don't want to be spoiled by the first boss fight in Miles Morales. But let's just talk about it a little bit. Let's react first, and then we'll talk about it. I'm super stoked, man. This month on GameInformer.com, we're swinging into action with Spider-Man Miles Morales, the follow-up to the PlayStation 4 exclusive featuring everyone's favorite wall crawler. We sat down with Insomniac Games to get all the details good. of Miles' solo adventure and find out how the hero has evolved since we last saw him. We've got looks at Spidey's new Venom powers, exclusive new gameplay, and of course, tons of insightful interviews from the developers that make it all happen. On top of that, we also give you a taste of how Insomniac has utilized the power of the PlayStation 5 to make a truly next-gen experience for fans of your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. So be sure to check out GameInformer.com slash Miles. So there was a ton of new footage in this. You can actually see the tracksuit. Be sure to check out GameInformer.com slash Miles. Invisibility. So be sure to check out Game Informer. I mean, there's has been a ton on. of new footage. Spidey's well, not new footage. Uh, not just new footage. Uh, new gameplay. And of course, new things that have come out on Twitter and everything that like that happen. because the digital of version that, of Game Informer is out already, I think. So you can look through a lot of this all stuff the already. Details on Miles, blue suit, definitely go check Game Informer out. We sat down with Insomniac Games. They have pretty good interviews and stuff like that. They have another video up. We're going to react to that really quick before I tell you some of the other news. This is the first boss fight. I'm gonna skip that. Oh, is this Spider-Man PS4? Oh, no, no. We saw regular Spider-Man, okay. Oh my god, they're both together. So this... This this did come out, and this is what I was about to talk about, but we'll we'll talk about it after. Just need to contain it Hello, tiny spiders. The Rhino. So they also didn't play the full cutscene. This is all. A callback to Spider-Man PS4 where Miles had to run from the Rhino. Now he actually gets to fight the Rhino. This is awesome. It's cool to see Rhino back. It's cool that they're continuing the world building. You see you got an Electro Punch right there. I'm guessing Peter gave him the suit. I'm guessing Peter gave him the suit. I'm gonna mute it while this plays over. <clears throat> Very interesting. So this was the stuff that came out. So originally I thought that Peter Parker was gonna just have a, you know, he was off going somewhere doing something and Miles was gonna take over a little bit to help prevent, you know, help prevent whatever was going on, what's going on with the Tinkerer and stuff like that. It's cool to see Rhino back, but it's cool to see them together. They actually see Peter Parker and Miles Morales together. I'm guessing Peter built the suit. Um, they confirmed that this is going to have a game boost of uh, 4K 60 frames. Uh, they're going to have a fidelity mode of 4K 30 frames, so you get the extra ray tracing elements. I love that they're bringing Rhino back over. Full circle, like I said, from the first game. Um... You can see him using some of his Venom powers. Don't be confused with the Venom on my shirt. The spider that bit Miles Morales gave him his own set of powers. That's why he kind of has that like electric ability, but it's called... That's his Venom Strike. I'm assuming that's what they're going to call it. Something like that. I don't know. 
Uh, he can go invisible. They show they're gonna. It looks like they're gonna make a lot of suits for Miles because uh, Miles Morales doesn't have a lot of suits in general. I'm gonna keep replaying this because this is very interesting. Game Informer is gonna have a whole month coverage of this, uh, or the, at least three weeks. We're gonna be playing this live on stream. I also got my Sony headset. Shout out to my boy Lou. This is exciting as a Spider-Man fan. I was hoping to see them together in this game and bridge the gap. We do know for a fact this game is not as long as Spider-Man PS4. Um, but I'm excited to see the story grow. I know a lot of people are gonna are upset about Peter Parker's face. The thing I want to say about Peter Parker's face is you spent 50 plus hours with the original face. And I understand that. But once you spend 50 plus hours with the new face, I think you'll get quite used to it. I think you got to give it a chance, not be so reactionary. A lot of people are very reactionary, very emotional. A lot of people attacking, you know, uh, Brian Etar, the creative director and of Spider-Man and stuff like that on Insomniac. Uh, maybe chill out with that a little bit. Uh, just not be so judgmental. Give things a shot. I'm ready. I'm willing to try and play the game first. I'm excited to play because the Spider-Man PS4 remaster is more than a remaster. They're putting a lot of effort into that game. Completely redoing all the ad sets. The 4K 60 frame game boost mode. The fidelity mode. The ray tracing. You're going to see more effects. Uh, they showed that off with Miles already with the electric effects and stuff like that. Um, I can't wait to actually... Obviously this is going to look way better on your old TV. I can't actually wait to play this on my PS5. But the great thing about this Miles Morales game... You can buy it on PS4, so if you guys did not get uh, the Spider-Man, if you did not get a, a PS5, I should say, sorry, you can buy this on PS4, and it does carry over to PS5. Very cool. I know a lot of people are upset about the remaster doesn't do that. I saw, I'm sorry I keep replaying this and rambling on, but this is pretty exciting. There's some, Like I said, there was some news that came out. We're going to see Rhino. We're going to see some... Newer uh, villains as well, I'm assuming. I'm interested to see how this is all going to tie in. And I, like I said, I thought Peter was going to be gone. I'm glad he's actually going to probably be in this game in some capacity. Teaching Miles the ropes uh, while Miles deals with his own problems. And I also like they talk about in the Game Informer is how Miles feels very different from Peter. He swings differently. He acts differently because he's not experienced. You know, this is kind of like the... The thing I really loved about Insomniac Spider-Man, the Peter Parker we got was not a teenager. He wasn't a high schooler. He's been Spider-Man for like six, eight years. Now he's actually getting getting to be a mentor. And now we got we get to play with the younger Miles, who's the 15, 16-year-old, learning to be a Spider-Man. Um, very interesting, very interesting. They kind of created their own Spider-Man universe without even actually having to do the universe meta. I wonder if they're going to do anything with Gwen Stacy, though. I wonder if they're going to do anything. I don't know if she's in this universe um, but I'm very stoked, very excited. Again, I was very lucky to get a PS5. You guys have been killing it with the support. Make sure you smash the hell out of the like button. Sub if you're new. Comment down below. I appreciate all the new subs and the love and support on both channels. I'm going to try to get a stream up tonight. Again, I don't have AC, so it's always tough to get a stream going. Uh, but I, I really do, from the bottom of my heart, guys, I really appreciate the support. Tell me how you... Uh, Feel about this. I know a lot of you are still trying hard to get a PS5 or Xbox Series X. Um, hopefully everybody gets one in time for that holiday rush. It's going to be really, really tough. It's going to be a very exciting item to get. I'm very excited to play this. I can't wait to stream this. Can't wait to have my new headset. We'll do all the unboxing stuff. We're going to be playing this and Demon Soul, both Spider-Man games and Demon Souls day one on stream. Again, I appreciate the love and support, guys. <laughs> I've been your fellow Strassman of the GG, and I'm Audi.